my beautiful people welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm gonna be doing a video on my favorite drugstore products that I really really love and that I really really recommend for you to go and get I'm gonna be talking about eyeshadow brushes face brushes foundations powders uh, eyeshadows brow products face primers setting sprays everything that you can think of that I know that I have from the drugstore and I love drugstore makeup. I feel like drugstore makeup is so slept on. Like, people think that it's not good because it's drugstore, but it actually is super good. You can find some good ass products from the drugstore. And I love me some deals. So I'm gonna be showing you all the products that I use. And yeah, if you wanna go ahead and see what I have to show you, go ahead and keep watching. Let's get started. Let's go. First, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite brushes that I use for my eyes and my eyebrows. So the first brush that I'm gonna be showing you is this little brush right here. And you've seen this brush if you watched my previous video that I had. I used this brush in it. And this is the Wet n Wild brush. And it's a Wet n Wild crease brush. This is what it looks like. It's just a little fat little blending brush. And this is, as you can see, it's kind of dirty because I used it this morning. And this brush was, I want to say, like $3.99 or $2.99. It doesn't go higher than $4. So this brush is so good. I love because the bristles are very, very, like they're dense, but they're not stiff. Like, you know get what I'm saying? They move pretty easily. So it's so good to like pop a shade in there and just blend everything out. And if you have big eyelids like I do, this brush works really good because you can get a lot of product into that eyelid right there and just kind of start going at it and it gets the job done pretty quickly. I use this every day uh, when I'm doing an eyeshadow look. You know, the fact that it blends so good and it's like not even more than $4, you should definitely go get this brush. I love it. The second brush that I'm going to be showing you guys is this little brush right here and it's just a little dense little shader. It can be either a shading brush or a packer brush. It's either this or. This came in a little packet. I guess that would be the only downside that you would have to get the pack to be able to get this brush. But the packet was actually like, I want to say like not even $10. And it came with four brushes. So I would really recommend this brush. It blends everything so nice. I use this when I want to either pack a shade on right here or really pack a shade down here and blend out. I wouldn't use this as a full blending brush for your whole eye. I feel like this just kind of works better to pack on color and blend in a certain little spot. So I would definitely check this little brush out too. Another brush that I have that I really, really like also, this little brush right here. And this is a little flat eyeliner brush from e.l.f. And I want to say this was literally like a dollar. Nice. And it's just a little flat little brush like this and you can use this for your eyeliner And that's what I like also that it has you know multiple purposes But I usually like to use this brush uh, when I'm gonna go ahead and cut a crease I like to take the shade that I'm gonna be popping on top of my crease and go ahead and just pop that right here and Get that color right there um, very very nicely and another brush that I have now that I'm gonna be showing you is this little brush right here just a little concealer brush it's a little thin one and this is also from elf this was literally like a dollar a freaking dollar and I use this thing every single day and you're getting it in there it's giving you that sharp like line that you want and the concealer is not going anywhere else than where you put it so for a dollar, girls, if you want to have some nice ass eyebrows, I mean, who doesn't, duh, go ahead and go buy you this brush right here. Now, speaking of eyebrows, this little brush right here, I love to. I use this brush every single day. This is from L'Oreal, and I think the, mm, the pomade was like, I want to say like, nine dollars and it came with the brush and i like it because it's double ended so you have your spoolie on one side to comb out your brows which i do all the time and then you have your little angled brush on the other side very thin i like it because it's very thin so yeah you want a brush that's going to be very precise so i always do my eyebrows with this okay so i would say 
to go get it so your eyebrows can be okay moving on let's go on to my favorite face brushes and I try to I try to narrow this down to not that many because I have a lot so the first brush that I'm gonna be showing you guys is this brush right here and this is um, it's called an expert face brush and this is from real techniques and this is pretty much a foundation brush I use this uh, to do my foundation almost all the time um, and I like that it's really dense but it still has like flexibility to it like it still goes on really nice and it's dense enough to where your foundation is not gonna leak to the bottom of it so it doesn't soak up all your product so I would go ahead and recommend you guys to get this brush um, I want to say it's like nine dollars so that's a steal the other foundation brush that I'm gonna be showing you guys is this one right here and this is just a little flat top dense little foundation brush this is from wet n wild I want to say this was no more than six dollars I want to say around five or six dollars and it's just a little flat little brush so it's very nice to go ahead and get some foundation on going on your face uh, quickly because since it's so much bigger than this one right here I feel like it applies everything quicker so this brush works really good I've been using it uh, a lot lately almost every single day and let's go ahead and use this brush right here and it's very very good the next brush that I have which is also a face brush is this one right here and this is by Real Techniques also and this is just a multitasking brush you can use this for many many things I like to use this brush right here to put on my powder so you know like when I'm doing a uh, powder on top of foundation uh, dip into the powder and just kind of do, 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 everywhere I use this brush every single day like every day if I don't have this brush like I freak out because I don't know what else to go use because it's that good I use it all the time so I would definitely recommend to go get this and this is also no more than ten dollars the next brush that I have which is this brush right here and this is by wet n wild and this is a little angled brush and I use this for contouring so dense enough to where you can go into the hollows of your cheek and pick up some product and contour and you know the product won't leave you streaks you get what I'm saying like you can really pack that color in and you're gonna make sure that everything gets blended out so nice because it still has that motion this was like three or four dollars so I would definitely recommend this to go ahead and you know do your contour so, so it can be popping the next brush that I have this is from real techniques and this is just a little angled uh, what is this even called? this is an angled highlighter brush but I do not use this for highlighting. I use this brush right here to set my under eyes when I go ahead and after I do my concealer and dip this into some powder and then I just like the angle that it has and the fact that the bristles are so soft like they're not that dense they're very very soft and very very flexible as you can see it's not even like clean because I literally used it this morning so I just go ahead and dip into some uh, powder and I just literally go in and take the least amount of powder that I can get and just kind of go in there and set, 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 set. Do the same thing to my lid up here. I just feel like it's so nice. Like this, it's small, but it's not that small. And it's, you know, big enough to go ahead and get under there and just set everything so nicely. So, go and get it, girl. Go and get it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and be moving on to some foundations. So this is where it starts to get good. Uh -huh. Um, the first foundation that I'm going to be showing you guys is my all-time favorite. Uh, my skin gets pretty oily, so it's always tough for me to find foundations that are going to go ahead and control that for me. Especially, you know, in this hot as Texas weather, it's the worst. So, it's always hard for me to find uh, matte foundations that work really, 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 really well for me. So, pretty much almost all the foundations that I'm going to be showing you are going to be matte ones. And I know I'm not the only one out there, so hopefully these foundations work out for you guys too that are grease balls like me. I do have some that are dewy that I'm going to be showing you that I mainly just use when it's winter time. So, I can at least save 
some of you people out there from that horrible, horrible thing that is oily skin. So the first one that I'm gonna be showing you is this one. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows this foundation. If you don't know it, um, it's the Maybelline Fit Me one. And I'm in the shade 128, which is warm nude. And it matches my skin tone like pretty much perfectly. So if you have skin tone like me, I would go ahead and say to get this one right here. And obviously it's matte and poreless and it does stick to what it says. It controls my oil pretty good. So I do have to always bake my face when I do my makeup because when it's summertime, daddy don't play. So other than that, I love it. Um, you know, it controls it controls it pretty good. It does blur out my pores really, really well. Um, I feel like it does minimize them. And this is literally like $5. It's like max like 540 I think it's so good they also have these right here and this is the dewy smooth one what is this this is in the shade classic ivory so yeah that's the shade that I'm in during the winter time and this is the same thing as that one five dollars blurs out so good and gives you a little bit of a glow going on underneath so I would go ahead and check their line out uh, another one that I have right here with me is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And this one, I'm in the shade 128, Warm Nude, which is the same as this one. It's literally the same brand, just a different foundation. And I really do like it. I feel like it is matte. Um, it is pretty high coverage. I like to go ahead and uh, put this on with the Beauty Blender because I feel like since it has kind of like more uh, of a mousse texture to it, I just feel like it blends out smoother and it goes on nicer when you do it with the beauty blender so I would go ahead and use this one with the beauty blender and this one is a little bit more pricey um, I would say probably it has to do a lot with the fact that it has a pump too and the other one doesn't so this is no more than ten dollars this is like nine another one that I really like is this one which is the wet and wild photo focus foundation and I'm in the shade soft beige and this is also not a matte foundation but this does not make my face oily at all. It controls my shine so, so good. Um, I really love it. This is like four something, not even $5. So yeah, um, you get the same amount of product as these two right here that I just showed you. And this one is for like $4.68, I believe. So not even $5. And it goes on very, very nice. This one is a little bit different. They have like, it's like a little spatula. And the smell is not that good. It kind of smells like paint but it wears really really nicely and it's supposed to be good for flashback so if you take pictures with flash this is supposed to help you not look weird so I would go ahead and definitely check this one out too so now what I'm gonna be moving on to is powders face powders so let me show you guys so um some face powders that I really really like this is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder so it's pretty much the same thing as the other foundation that I showed you but in powder form um, and I really love this powder because it does keep my face matte so I always go ahead and do my foundation first and then set it with some translucent powder and then go ahead and add this on top just to add a little bit of more coverage and I'm in the shade 130 buff beige and as you can see like I said I use this every day <laughs> It doesn't have that much left in there because it's that good. I use it like every day. So, um, another one that I really, really like also too is this Wet n Wild one right here. Uh, pretty much the same as this one. Uh, this one goes paired with the Photo Focus Foundation that I showed you earlier. And it's the same thing, it's pressed. I don't use this as much on myself because I always use this one, but I do like to use this one every once in a while and on my clients also. And uh, this is in the shade Neutral Beige, which is what I'm at. It's kind of the same as this one, just in this brand right here. And um, this is also like $4.68. I want to say it's not even $5. So I would definitely go check it out. It's very, very nice. Another powder that I'm going to go ahead and be showing you is this one right here. This one right here. And this is 
from Hard Candy. You can find this at Walmart. That's pretty much the only place that I've seen that brand. And this is big, bright, and set. And it's pretty much just translucent powder like this. I'll go ahead and show you. Looks like that. And this is in the shade Banana. And I really like this uh, to go ahead and bake my face or so when I contour, when I set my eyes. Um, I like to bake here, 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 and here. Uh, those are the places that I tend to get pretty oily pretty quickly. So I always go ahead and go in with this powder right here and bake that up. And this is, I want to say like $8. So you get quite a bit for $8. So it's really, really good. I also use the Airspun one. That one is so, so, so bomb. Also, you get a much bigger container and it's like $5. I just couldn't find it to show you guys. I don't know where I left it. Very, very good. So I would go ahead and check that one out too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and be showing you some of my favorite primers that I have. Uh, you know, that I like to go in with before I do my makeup and everything. One that I have is this one. And it's by Maybelline. It's called Master Prime by Face Studio. And it's supposed to blur and smooth things out. And this is not a mattifying primer. It's just regular, you know, to kind of blur out your pores and smooth everything out to give you a clean little layer before you go ahead and apply your foundation. This is a little bit more pricey. I want to say like almost like eight or nine dollars, but it does blur everything out so, so, so good. I feel like it just works out so good. So I would go ahead and check this one out also. The next one that I have is a new one that I've really been trying out for like a month now. And this is also by the brand Hard Candy. It's a little primer stick. So it's a little bit different. And it's called Stick Stick It to Pores. That's what it's called. And it's very, very cute. I really like the packaging. I feel like they made it very, very um, appealing. And what it is, is pretty much a little stick. So you just kind of pull some out like this and get some out and use it as you go. So you pretty much just wipe it on there. It's kind of like if it was a little foundation stick. And I really, really like it. It's, you know, it's to mattify your face also and blur out your pores. And I feel like it kind of really does help to control my, um, you know, my shine. And this was like six or seven dollars. So I would recommend it. I feel like you get quite a bit of it because since it's not a cream, it doesn't run out as quickly. So I would definitely recommend this if you want to blur out your pores or, you know, if you want to go ahead and mattify your face. To stop that grease. So, moving on. I'm trying to make this video so long, but I just have so many products that I want to share with you guys. Let's check the rest out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of my favorite concealers. So, I have two with me. Uh, the first one is by, can you guess? It's by Maybelline. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me. So it's paired with the other foundation and the powder. And um, this is in the shade Fair. Uh, you've seen me use this in my previous video if you watched it. And it comes with a little wand. I feel like this concealer is really, really, really good. The consistency is not so liquidy, but it's not so thick. So it's very easy to blend out and it has very, very good coverage. And this is, is like... This is also like five or six dollars, so I would definitely go ahead and check this out. The next one that I have is by Wet n Wild. Um, this one is like four sixty-eight. I want to say it's less than five dollars, and it's almost the same as this one. I just feel like this has a different consistency. It's a little bit thicker, but it has just as good coverage as this one right here. So I would definitely check these two out. You can always pair them together to get super, super good coverage. And go ahead and try these, and I think you'll really, really like them. Moving on to the next thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and be showing you my favorite products to contour. That is by Wet n Wild, and this is the powder version of um, contour. And I use this little baby right here every single day, also to bronze and contour. And you get two shades. You get the dark shade, which is obviously the contour. And then you get this shade right here, which is a lighter shade that I use to um, bake also. So, and I just dip it into there, get quite a bit, and then just draw a line right here underneath my contour and let that bake in there and then just wipe everything off. The next little palette I'm gonna be showing you right here is a blush palette and this is from Maybelline. 
and this is like I want to say eight or nine dollars and it's very good because you get three different shades you get light medium and dark for different skin tones and then you get a little highlighter also with it so I think the colors are very very nice they're very rosy very pigmented so I would definitely go ahead and check this one out too as well next I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite um, eyebrow product so this right here is from L'Oreal and it's a bra pomade pretty much looks like this and I really love this pomade because this comes with a brush to it with that brush that I showed you earlier comes with this in the little packet and I feel like the pomade is very very creamy very nice they have a lot of different tones uh, they have you know deep brown medium brown brunette blonde you know? so you get a lot of different shade ranges I like it a lot it's you know this lasts you a long time because it comes with so much product and it's so pigmented you don't even need to use a lot so I would definitely recommend this if you want to have some very nice flaky eyebrows next I always use these two together this is from hard candy and this is a brow powder duo so it looks like this this is I want to say eight or nine dollars dollars also um, you get two shades right here this is in the shade medium dark because I do have quite dark eyebrows so you get two shades even in that you get a lighter shade and a darker shade I always go ahead and use this one and then on the other side you get a highlighter cream and then a lighter shade for a highlighter cream so this is very very good I go ahead and use this to fill in my eyebrow at the beginning and I use this every single day I would definitely recommend this I always get compliments on my eyebrows like all the time and people will be like what do you do it with is it the Anastasia and I'm like no it's these two and they're like well where'd you get it from Walmart and then they're shook because you can do some bomb ass makeup with drugstore products I'm telling you go and check these out now last but not least is some little eyeshadow palettes that I have and I have a lot so I kind of just narrowed it down to some of my favorite ones uh, starting off with this one. This is from Maybelline. This is called the Blush Nudes. And, and it's pretty much just a lot of nude shades. You get your shimmeries, your mattes, and they're very, very cute. These are like go-to for when you're trying to just do a quick little nude eye look. And you have all the shades you need to create the look right here. So I would definitely go ahead and check this out and try it out yourself and see how you like it. I think it's very, very nice. Next is this one right here, and this is from Hard Candy, and um, it's just it's called Look Pro Eyeshadow Palette, and you get a lot of nice little shades. The packaging is also very very cute. It has very nice shades. You have some mattes, some mattes down here, and then your very nice little shimmery shades, and they're also very very pigmented. So I'll show you. They're very nice. Um, they go on very easily too. They're very buttery. So um, I like to use this too when I'm trying to create, you know, some bold looks because it does have a little bit of bold colors and then you also get some neutrals up here. So I feel like you get pretty good variety in one palette. You know, it comes with a brush and this I know for a fact was like eight something. It was like $8 plus tax. So it's pretty big and it has a lot of shades. For eight dollars so i would definitely go ahead and check that out so i think that is it for today um i narrowed it down the best i could to the most uh what's the word to my most favorite products that i use pretty much daily like every single day i tried to narrow it down to that um these products are you know they're inexpensive um, they're very very nice. They work very very good. Um, I feel like I said, you know, people think that just because it's drugstore, it's not good. But I'm here to show you that that is a lie. But yeah, pretty much that's all for today. Um, I tried to do something a little bit different. Let you guys um, get a little view into some of the things that I like to do and that I like to use, you know, when I do my makeup. So. Hope you keep coming back and don't forget to like, subscribe, 
comment, you know, all that good stuff that I'm gonna be telling you to do in every single one of my videos just to make sure that you don't forget. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.